This video is going to be about expected value and the SAT, the Scholastic Aptitude Test. And what I want to do is use the concept of expected value to see whether it makes sense to guess or not guess on the multiple choice questions in the uh, Scholastic Aptitude Test. So here's how the multiple choice questions work. For each question, you're given five possible answers, five choices. If you get the correct answer, you gain a point. If you choose an incorrect answer, you lose a quarter of a point. If you don't answer at all, you don't gain or lose anything. It's just zero points. So let's say there's a lot of questions and you have no idea what the answer is. Should you not answer at all or should you guess? Well, we know that if you don't answer at all, nothing at all will happen. You won't gain any points, but you won't lose any points. So let's see if you should guess. What we're going to do is figure out the probability of getting correct answers and also the probability of getting incorrect answers. So the probability of a correct answer, if there are five different choices and you've got no idea which is the correct answer, is going to be the one correct answer over the five possible choices. The probability of an incorrect answer is going to be the four total incorrect answers over the five possible choices. Now, we can figure out the expected value. In other words, what you should expect to be able to either gain or lose on average if you guess a lot of times. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the probability so the probability of getting a correct answer is one-fifth, and multiply it by what happens if that situation happens, if you're correct. Well, if you're co correct, you gain a point. So we're going to multiply one-fifth times one, and that just equals one-fifth. And then we'll do the same thing for incorrect answers. We'll multiply the probability of incorrect, which is four-fifths, times what happens when you're incorrect, and that's negative 1 over 4, because you lose a quarter of a point when you're incorrect. We'll multiply that out, and that's going to work out to negative 1 over 5. And then we'll add, we'll add those two numbers together, 1 fifth and negative 1 fifth, and we get 0. And what that means is 0 is our expected value, and it says that if you were to guess repeatedly with no idea what the right answer might be or what the wrong answers might be, you would, on average, neither gain nor lose any points. Your expected value for each of those guesses would be zero points. Now, let's see what happens if you can rule out one of the answers as being obviously incorrect. So now, instead of guessing out of five possible answers, you're saying, I know one of the answers is wrong. So you've got a 1 over 4 chance, 1 over 4 probability, of getting the correct answer, because you've ruled one of the answers out. You've got a 3 over 4 probability of getting a wrong answer. So we'll multiply 1 fourth times what happens when you do get a correct answer, which is 1. That's going to be 1 over 4. And we'll multiply 3 over 4 times what happens when you don't get a correct answer, and that's a negative one quarter point. That's negative three over 16. And now we want to add one quarter and negative three over 16. Well, one quarter is the same as four over 16. So I've got four over 16 plus negative three over 16, which is like four minus three. So that's one over 16. So what does that mean? That's the expected value, 1 over 16. That means that, let's say there were, to make it easy, let's say there were 64 questions where you were able to rule out one of the answers. So there's four possible answers you're, you're guessing from in each of those 64 questions. And your expected value is 1 over 16. That means that for each of those questions, you're going, on average, to gain a sixteenth of a point, 
And that comes out to, let's see, I can divide 64 by 16, and that's going to be 4. Divide 16 by 16, that's 1. That means that you're going to gain 4 points for those 64 questions that you guessed at. Now, this is probability. There's no guarantee that you're going to have this work out exactly the way the probability says it would. The more questions you're guessing at, the better the chances are that this will be your expected value. But there's always a chance that you'll get them all wrong, in which case you've now lost, if you're losing a quarter of a point on each of those questions, you've lost 16 points. On the other hand, there's a probability that you get them all right, in which case you're getting 64 points. All that the expected value says is that if you do this enough, on average, you're going to get a sixteenth of a point for each question. Okay, so let's see what happens if you can rule out two of the answers. If you can rule out two of the answers, now there are only three that you're choosing from. So your probability of getting a correct answer is one out of three. Your probability of getting a wrong answer, an incorrect answer, is two out of three two-thirds. So that means that your payback, let's see, you've got one out of three times one. That means when you get the correct answer, the way probability has it, you get a third. But two-thirds of the time, you're expected to get an incorrect answer, so that's two-thirds times negative one-fourth, and that's negative two-twelfths. So we can add those numbers together. I'm going to give both of these a denominator of 6. So 1 third is the same as 2 over 6. And negative 2 over 12 is the same as negative 1 over 6. And that means that your expected value is going to be 1 over 6. OK, so if there were, let's say, 36 questions, and you're able to take the possible answers you're given for these 36 questions and rule out two of the answers, so there's only three that you're choosing from, then you would stand a probability of getting one-sixth of a point each time, which means that you would gain a total of six points by guessing, on average. That's what your probability says. Again, you might get all of them right, you might gain 36 points altogether, or if you got them all wrong, you would lose a quarter of a point for each of those 36 questions, you would lose nine points. Okay, so ultimately it's up to you to decide how much you trust probability, how you feel about guessing, but in general, the rules of expected value say that it won't hurt you to guess, if you don't know any of the answers, the rule of expected value says that you'll just break even. If you can rule out some of the expected, some of the possible answers, then expected value says you're probably better off guessing. Okay? In the end, it's your choice. Take care. I'll see you next time.